The Charizard Ultra Premium Collection Box is officially here. Quite possibly the most hyped and desirable Pokemon card product of 2022. With the potential of some of the greatest alternate artwork Charizard cards ever made, plus whatever else could be hidden inside of this box, I think it's time that we opened it up. It's finally time that we unboxed one of the most sought after products of 2022. Let's cut into this thing. Oh my god, like there's like orange. It looks like fire on the side here. Down into yellow. Literally looks like flames are on the side of this box. Oh man. Oh dude, that look that feels premium already. It feels premium already. So let me get this little piece off of here. And we're literally about to pop this thing open. Oh, and really quickly, you might have noticed in the beginning of the video, I opened up a case of four of these UPCs. So since I'm opening up one of the four, that means I'm not just giving away one UPC. Not just two, but three. You definitely want to enter this giveaway because three of these are going to be sent out, still sealed, for three winners. So if you want to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this UPC. Okay, I think we just popped the top. Hey, it's like magnetic. Okay, let me pull this up a little bit. Oh, baby. Oh, man. Okay, yo, the colors on this is crazy. Look at this thing. Oh, yeah, and then we got to turn it around, I believe. Actually, I don't even know. Let me see. Oh, I got it. Okay, you turn around like this. And then there's these two tabs, it looks like. So I guess I got to pull this out. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There it is. Oh, okay. So there's like three, I guess, drawers or whatever you want to call them here. That's going to have like all the goodies plus whatever is going to be in this thing. This thing is just super high quality. All right, here we go. So let's open this up. It says Pokemon. I'm going to show you every everything on here. Pokemon trading card game on here. Um, and then I think I know actually what's in here now that I look at it. It looks like it's going to be the exclusive Charizard play map. But what does it actually look like? Yeah, so that's all that's in there. But, but what does this look like? How cool is this gonna be to have a playmat from this Charizard box? Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's unroll it. Oh my god, it's just fire. Bro, okay. Woo! Yo! <laughs> oh my god! Looks like a Game of Thrones scene. This is our exclusive playmat with Charizard right on the front here with just straight fire. They were like, we need fire. We need just more fire everywhere. All right, all right, all right, all right. Woo. Okay. Now the question is, where do I begin? Should I start on the Charizard? The Pokeball? Oh, my God. Okay. Maybe we'll just go left to right. Let's do left to right. Okay. Here we go. The first drawer. What is going to be in here? Ooh, okay. I see some. I think I see packs. I don't know what else is in there. I see something under here, actually. Oh, look at this. Okay. We have, like, a book here. What is it going to say? Welcome to the Pokemon Trading Card Game Sword and Shield Series Retrospect. Join us on a trip down memory lane as we explore Sword and Shield Series related expansions. Oh, dude, it has them all listed on the side here. All So this is like coming to the end of the Sword and Shield era. Like we're almost at the new generation. February of 2020, we have Sword and Shield base set. That's when it all happened. It's so crazy because that's right around when I started the channel here, a little bit after. Then we had Rebel Clash. Then we had Darkness Ablaze. And yeah, Champion's Path. And then we had the uh, Shiny Charizard and the Rainbow Charizard. Everybody went crazy for that. We're coming to the end of this generation. At Vivid Voltage, how could you forget the Chakachu Rainbow? Shining Fates with, of course, more Shiny Charizards because people could not get enough of the Shining Charizard. Battle Styles, well, they put the Tyranitar in there because that's literally the best card. So they know. Chilling Rain is a really good set as well in 2021. Then we had Evolving Skies, which everybody went nuts for, and apparently people are still going crazy for. I mean, I know I am as well. Fusion Strike was a pretty solid set as well with Gengar and Mew. Then we had Brilliant Stars, February of 2022, which was an amazing set, one of my favorites. Keep going through here. Then we had the Trainer Gallery. You can pause on any of this if you'd like. We have Astral Radiance as well. That was released in May. Then we had Lost Origin, which was just uh, this last September. I wonder if they're going to... Yeah, and then they have Silver Tempest. Dude, okay, so this is a write-up on Silver Tempest, and it's not out yet. Continuing on now, we have our drawer number one, and I think, okay, it's a ton of booster packs. Is that, okay, that might be all that's in here. So let's just check these out really quickly. Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance. Brilliant Stars, Brilliant Stars, and Brilliant Stars. Bro, that's a fire lineup. This is all Trainer Gallery packs. And then let me show you this. So you have that Charizard that you saw featured on the front of the uh, Ultra Premium Collection box. And, um, yeah, it's pretty high quality. Put these packs to the side for a little later. Let's move into the middle drawer here. Remember, there's some crazy cards that you could pull out of this thing. And I'm seeing, oh, my gosh, even more booster packs. 
Dang, they loaded this up. Oh, there's other stuff in here too. Okay, okay. Let me get the packs out. Let me get the packs out. Oh, there's a crazy coin in there. Okay, so we have more. We have Fusion Strike. Three Fusion Strike. We got a Bobby Skies, yes. We got Vivid Ball. Bro, they're putting all the best of the Sword and Shield here. They're literally putting all the best in here. Fusion Strike, Evolving Skies, Vivid Bolt. Bro, and, and just one Darkness Ablaze, but we'll take it. Oh my god, there's so many different sets and all really, really good ones. But yo, here it is. Okay, the Charizard coin. It is all metal. Oh, that's heavy. Hear that? Yo, okay. The coin. Look at that. So that's the artwork there. It looks like the play mat as well. And then there's like the back of it. So yeah, solid coin in there. And as always, you can't have any of these Pokemon products without a V-Star badge because you literally get this in every single thing ever made. Now the question is, what's in this last drawer? Are there going to be more sets? Because we haven't seen any Chilling Rain. We're definitely missing a couple of the bigger hitter sets. But on top of that, everybody wants to see these Altered Artwork Charizard cards. And there should be three. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Oh, it's all in here. Oh my god. Oh, it's all it's definitely all in here. Okay. I'ma just start with let me get this out of the way so I don't mess anything up. I think okay, well there's a code card. The ultra premium collection. I think that the three cards are in here that everybody wants to see. Let me put that to the side for just a second because I want to take this out and see what this is. Because it looks really cool from Oh dude, it's the artwork and it's sleeves and they're red. This is, this is like a Charizard dream come true. If you like Charizard, this is for you. If you don't like Charizard, this is not for you. I will tell you that. But dude, okay, there's the sleeve. The same thing as like the artwork there. Um, and yeah, you get a whole stack of these. All right, there's more stuff in here. I'm gonna just put that, to, I'm gonna close that for now because I gotta look at these cards. I gotta look at these cards. Okay, this is literally like what you want out of this Ultra Premium Collection box is what's in here. If I can get this open, okay, I got it. This is what everybody wants out of this Ultra Premium Collection box, including me, okay? I, I'm included with that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take the first card and we're gonna reveal the first Charizard card that you get in here. Okay, I'm gonna see this for the first time. Remember, in person is a lot different than seeing online and I haven't really seen them online up close. Oh my God, somebody pinch me right now. Wow, this is sick. Oh my god, yo! <laughs> yo, I'm not even playing right now. Oh my god, yo, Venusaur's in the background. This card is definitely the best alternate artwork Charizard card. Bro, it is the alternate artwork Charizard card. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that is amazing. Look at this thing. You got a Charizard under the trees in the woods with like flames everywhere and a Venusaur in the background. I'm telling you guys, it's when you have the card in hand and you're really looking at it, it is unbelievable. It is a really, really cool card. This is just one of three though. I got to get this in a sleeve. Where are the sleeves? All right, we got our first Charizard card sleeved up. It looks amazing, but we need to move on to the second Charizard card of three. So here we go. The big reveal for the first time ever. Seeing the second card that we get in the Charizard UPC. These are all guaranteed. You are guaranteed to get all these. Oh, there it is. The artwork that we just saw on the actual playmat is on a card as a Charizard VMAX. It looks freaking incredible. I'm telling you, it really it looks like a Game of Thrones scene. Like, that is literally what you don't want to see when you're walking down the road. I will tell you that. And, like, a totally different style of artwork and design on this. Honestly, this one's really amazing. If you like the fierce Charizard going crazy. If you like the more just kind of, like, chilled, laid-back Charizard just hanging out in the woods, you have the other one there. All right, that was two of three. We got one more, and then we have whatever else is inside this drawer. Keep in mind, the prices that are popping up right now, this is not actually released yet as of the recording this. So these cards, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to the pricing. I assume they're going to come down. But keep that in mind. This is as of the recording prices for these things. And they're going to be way more available. So I'm assuming the price is probably going to keep coming down. Doesn't even matter, though, because we have our last card right here. The third Charizard card. These aren't just normal Charizard cards. This isn't just like a regular Charizard V or like a Charizard Hollow or something like that. These are incredible artworks, alternate artworks, like the best of the best. Now, this is the last one. Did they save the best for last here? Let's see. Oh my God, it's a V-Star. Yo, Mewtwo's in that too. Oh my God. 
dude, he's like going off of a cliff and he's uh, oh my this dude How can you even pick which one is the best? They're they're all amazing This is a battle between Charizard and Mewtwo. I'm just so blown away Like you can even see I don't know if you guys can see that there's literally a Tangrowth back there on the top left like just free falling down a waterfall Dude, unbelievable. This is just so crazy how good these artworks are. This is what you want to see. This is what you want to see with Pokemon products. This exclusive, new, exciting, really great artwork. Such a cool design. This is what you want to see, and we're seeing it for the first time. But we still have more stuff inside of here. Also, keep in mind, these are heavily, heavily printed and made so these are going to be stocked up everywhere i feel like these are actually going to be in stock everywhere like the printing of this compared to the celebrations ultra premium collection box i feel like it's probably honestly like way more maybe three times more maybe more than that i don't really know but that's just what i've kind of been feeling and seeing but anyway the final drawer what else is going to be in here let's just take this out one at a time so we have oh dang yo these are crazy heavy i picked this up this thing literally feels like it's like a quarter of a pound that is nice. These dice, like, if you could hold these, you would be like, what? How are these this heavy? These are solid. So you actually just rip it right open down the middle, and then you could take these out. Yo, these are pretty awesome. Like, everything is just ultra premium. It's right in the name. You even have these really, really nice dice. Wow. Still searching. And remember, three of these are getting given away to three subscribers here on the channel. So if you're not subscribed right now, you got to hit the subscribe button. I mean, just... Click the subscribe button, smash the like, and leave a comment, and you'll be entered. It's 100% free. Um, and winners are always announced every other Tuesday live stream. But here we go. What else do we have in here? Ooh, okay. We Our status counters. And, like, literally, like, this is cool. I don't know if they did this before, like, to just rip it in the middle, and then they just pop out like that. Um, the same thing. These are such high quality. Like, that is nice. And then you have the white right behind that. It looks really good. You have that one. Yo, you're balling out if you, if you show up with all this stuff. Like, it is ridiculous. Okay, three hours later, I got this out. Dang, that's nice. That is clean. I love the white background on that. Super super high quality, super heavy. It goes perfectly with this. The color, I mean, it matches up. It's like gold and white. And I think, is that everything that you get? I think that might be. I, I always got to check, though. I, gotta, I have to check. That looks to be like everything that's in this box. But you guys might have forgot already because we were so into this thing. I actually almost forgot. We have all of these amazing sets. Like, the best of the best from Sword and Shield, or just about all the best of the best, we get inside of this. I mean, what more could you ask? The only other thing that I would like to see in here would be Chilling Rain, maybe? I mean, I think that would have been good to throw that in there. Silver Tempest, too, but the thing is, that's not released yet. It's like, it comes out in a couple weeks after this releases. Or literally, yeah, two weeks after this releases, so we couldn't have Silver Tempest in here as well. But that would have been cool. Like, that would have literally been, like, all the best sets lined up. But here we go. Um, let's, let's start right... On the right side, we'll just go straight through these with the Fusion Strike. Let's see if we can end this with some crazy pulls out of these Sword and Shield sets right here. We got a Gudra non hollow Man, so yeah, I think right now these are going... They're starting to come down in price already, which is good. That means that the supply is there. I honestly think these will come down to like market price or like the, the normal market retail price, whatever that is. I don't actually even know what, what the normal MSRP is on this thing. Maybe like... 150 or something like that. I actually don't really know. Actually, I think it's $120 actually. $120. It's starting to come down. It was like way up over like $250 on pre-orders for like all these places. Then I think it started coming down to 200 It's going to keep coming down, I think. Um, at least on release and stuff like that. So, honestly, even if you have to pay a little more than MSRP, like 150 I think is actually really worth it. It's such a cool product. Like, I'm sure that people are going to be able to get their hands on it. Like, this is just, it's its going to be everywhere. It's super cool to see this, man. Like, this is where, this is where it's at. This is the way to celebrate the, uh, the end of the Sword and Shield era. Just get all the best sets in here with Charizard, Alt Arts. Got a Glaceon V. Nice. We're going through some Evolving Skies reprints right now. They had to reprint Evolving Skies because everybody is just talk, always talking about Evolving Skies. Myself included. I think it's definitely one of the best. So while we're opening up these sets right here from the Sword and Shield era, the, I mean, Pokemon's picking out probably like the ones they think are some of the best or best selling for them anyway. I am surprised that Chilling Rain did not make the cut in here. I'm, I'm pretty surprised at that, uh, which is kind of interesting to see Chilling Rain not in here because that's definitely a top tier set in my opinion. But you know what? It's cool that we got Vivid Voltage in here. It's cool that we, we even got dar one Darkness of Blaze pack in here, which is amazing to see some Darkness of Blaze um, nowadays. Like, that probably surprised me the most is seeing the Darkness of Blaze set. That's definitely the oldest set in here. So it's cool to see that. So we got some more Vivid Voltage. Imagine buying this thing 
and pulling out the rainbow Pikachu. But yeah, definitely my top favorite sets are going to be like Brilliant Stars for sure, Evolving Skies. Uh, we got Wilmer. Honestly, Lost Origin is like the newest release as of the recording of this. It's definitely a top set for me. I honestly, I put Lost Origin like pretty high up. I love Lost Origin as well. I thought that's like a top three set for, for me anyway, personally. But yeah, let me know. What's your guys like top three favorite Sword and Shield sets? Age slash V. And keep in mind, of course, we do have one more set, which is coming out, Silver Tempest, which features a freaking alternate artwork, Lugia. And like, I think the rainbow as well. I don't even know. I, I don't know what else is in it. I, again, I normally don't look at the cards until the set actually releases and start opening it up myself. I look a little bit, but not not much. I don't sit there and like study the cards and see every card in the set or anything like that. I, I, I like, I've told you guys this a million times, so I sound like a broken record. I like to open stuff for the first time, see it in hand. Same thing with the Charizard UPC. Oh, this was, this was the toughest to stay away from. Everywhere I looked, everybody's posting Charizard UPC photos and stuff. Like I go on Instagram and there's like, my feed is filled with the cards. All right, so we got another Lost Orge. So this is the Trainer Galleries. So the thing that scares me now, I think that is the trainer galleries, is, is that like coming to an end now? Like, is that only something that they're going to do at towards like the ends of these like generations or uh, of Pokemon? If, uh, I don't know if we have to, like the question I have, right? We're doing Astro Radius right now, by the way, is are we going to go back to not having trainer galleries again for a while? Oh, that would be so weird. Like going back to sets where there's the pull rates are way worse again. I don't know if I can do it. Lily Gant V. Like trying to open up Sword and Shield Base and Rebel Clash, even Darkness Ablaze, and like all those sets nowadays is, is so much tougher when you can't get a lot of pull. Like it's just so much tougher. It's so much tougher for everybody. Um, but I, I mean, I, I guess we gotta wait and see. Maybe they'll have new rarities. I don't know. Samurai V Star, nice. If we don't have Trainer Gallery cards anymore with Scarlet and Violet releases. I really hope that they have some sort of like backup plan as like a new rarity tier that you can get in the reverse slot. We need, it's hard to say because the, the reverse slot, it's like besides having reverse cards or like shinies or whatever, radiant cards, um, it's, it's like you need another set, like a, a radiant collection. Or a, uh, yeah, a trainer gallery. All right, so we're not getting a lot of hits. We got a handful. We got like three Vs and a V star, but we have brilliant stars to end this right now. Let's see if we get some craziness out of here. Here we go, here we go, okay. Torkoal, cast form, come on, infinite shinx, Brailler. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I, I thought this was incredible to open up for the first time. I mean, this is the most fun I've had opening up a new product in quite a while. I, I have fun opening stuff up, but there's some, there's some hits different. Having a, a UPC, Ultra Premium Collection Box, featured Charizard with all these crazy cards in here. This is, this is where it's at. Like if you could choose, if you can get this for MSRP for $120, and you could choose between this and a booster box. Most booster boxes are probably around that, like 100 to 120. I would choose this um, just based on everything you get in here. Because you're, you're, you get the value like immediately. The play map, the three cards. I think this is a different print run, by the way. Because like the code cards are facing the other way. So I don't know if they reprinted some of these for, for this UPC or what. They probably did because they were just like cranking these out. Maybe this is where all the reprints are going to these UPCs. Um, but yeah, this has been incredible. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching the video. I think this is going to end it. And that is going to do it. Yeah, make sure you smash the like button on the way out. Make sure you enter the giveaway. Click on some content that's down there on the bottom. And yeah, guys, hope you have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.